Hey everybody, I'm Gerald. And I'm Tammy. So we're coming to you on day two of our videos um, of how we do things around here. Trying to help people out a little bit, answer a few questions. I think um, one of the main things to know is that um, if you're having disagreements or everything's not 100%, you are, it's nothing wrong with you. You are not by yourself. There is no perfect marriage at all, anywhere in the world. None whatsoever. We agree on something. We agree on something. So, let me see. Okay. All right. So, we agree there's no perfect marriage, but you can work hard to try to uh, make it work. Um, that's and don't the, look in your neighbor's uh, window. What they doing may not work for you. Yeah, and what we do may not work for you because ours, I'm, I'm almost, um, she leaves me every two days. She's about to leave me. So, hey, you know, but I just tell her to go sit down, stay Wait in a woman's I place. Give my money. See? <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? I was like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Every two days she's talking about leaving me, or I'm talking about leaving her. But guess what? We ain't 10 nobody years going, in. Ain't nobody going nowhere. And we're going for another 10. I told her, but she's in 99. It's time to renew this contract. You know? This is the only thing that, you know what's weird about marriage? This is the only thing you can't renew a contract on. That's kind of weird. You say some dumb stuff. Huh? Some dumb stuff. But it's true. Because it's the only could, contract you, you can't could have renew. just put that in the mind of a man that ain't got good sense. We've been married. And now he gonna ramble that off to some woman that ain't like me. That that don't know that you you what? But you are you are ninety. Wait a minute. You're ninety. We got married in ninety nine. Whatever. You're ninety. And what so are 90. you? And what are you? The best thing. You have anyway, to let's keep it moving. Somebody has believed his press. Okay. You. Hmm, whatever. Huh, you don't believe my press? I wrote it. Huh? That's my job, to stroke your yeah. ego. <laughs> so I wrote the press. You just believed it. So listen, question was raised, because <laughs> this woman is crazy. <laughs> and, I, and this is one of the problems. This is probably why we still together, because she's crazy and I'm scared of her. That's just <laughs> the bottom line. She's crazy and I'm scared of her. So I just stick around. I say, hey, I'm not going to try to go nowhere, get in no trouble. Where I can, uh, you know, okay, she's gonna no, kill no, no, me. Cause she'll on. try to kill me. Because we can't, we so. don't want the videos to be too long because, you know, we don't just wanna... go ahead. Oh, go ahead. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. Just go. One go. of the questions was, what do you consider cheating? How far is too far? Which I think is a great question, by the way. And then once um, you've lost your trust, how do you regain it? Well, I think you have to talk to your spouse first to see what's too far for you all. I because, agree. Because certain things may not be. Um, Everything is too far for us, you know. Not true. If I say hello, hello to somebody at church, you gone too you're far. You really gonna, you really gonna try to put that if, out there if, like that? If, you I, know... if I speak to the lady, the male lady, gone too far. I know, I know, I'm sexy. I know. Okay. Like, first but of all, it is what it is. first of but, all, for the record, I could care less who you talk to. Don't nobody want you. That's number one. Number two, but, number two, ladies, we cannot be overly sensitive about um, them being nice and, and being being friendly and all that good stuff. Um, what I do think is that in marriage, you have to have boundaries, and you have to know that anybody that you let in your circle can become a potential hazard to your family, and therefore, you may meet somebody. And you're like, oh, they're cool. He's cool. She's cool. There's nothing wrong with us being friends. But you have to look at it like whatever could happen concerning that friendship could potentially damage your spouse, damage your children, tear up your home. And so you just have to be really careful. And for men, I would say dodge any woman that is not trying to actively be friends with your wife. And I mean actively. I don't mean being cordial to get past her to get to you. But I mean trying to develop a genuine friendship uh, yeah. and vice versa that's what i think and women quit putting up red flags at everything i mean you should keep a red flag up but you know what i'm saying but at the same time just don't everything at, oh he spoke to why he speak to Cynthia? he held her hand too long why he that's how women y'all do i'm not saying you do that i'm saying women do okay. that you know what i'm saying this everything is something and then you have to know you have to know who you're with you gotta know who you're married to. If you you know if you married a cheater, you know if you got married just because oh he finally asked me, we're finally doing this, but you didn't trust him the day before you got married and you didn't trust him the day after. So don't expect it to get much better. You you gotta know who you're with. Just last summer, I'm in Detroit for what, two months? 
Mm-hmm. You're here, and word on the street was we're divorced or getting divorced or something. But you know, you you have to know who you're with. And once you put it down, like I do, she ain't going away. You ain't going nowhere. It is what it is. Anyway, back to what we were saying. Um, Are you going somewhere? Answer the question. Wait till I get my money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <He's> like that. <laughs> okay, look. So, okay, so now, how do you regain trust once it's been lost? Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. And, men, you have to know, with us, we really can never really forget things. Y'all don't forget nothing. Women are like, okay, Tammy messed the camera up because I was about to tell y'all about women. What women are like. Women are like um, hard drives. you like uh, 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 um, 500 gig hard drives. You store everything from years, from childhood. You be like, I remember when you hurt me when we was 12. Like, I would have, would have. That's because we're emotional. We're, we're emotional. Too emotional. But that's, that's one of the things that you have to love about us. Okay. I love women. I love my make, wife. Makes us very but unique. that's one of the worst things ever is to be arguing and something from 1993 come up. That's like the worst. So you need to delete your hard drive Never gonna happen. and uh, keep it moving. But the question was, once the trust has been lost, how do you regain it? Because hard drive or not, if you do something to lose the other person's trust, and this is not just marriage, this is the relationship as a whole, and you decide that you're gonna stay in the relationship, then you then have to put forth some type of effort to make the person that was hurt feel comfortable enough to open their heart up to you again. So the question again is, once the trust has been broken or lost, what do you do to regain it? Trust them again. Okay, can you be a little more specific, please? I mean, you work towards it. You how just, do you, you how just you answered the question. Why well, don't no, you go back you, to the question you after you that? answered it? Because you didn't, you haven't really answered it. You have to put forth. You did. You just answered if it. If it were me, if I did. Wait a minute, wait, Tammy. I'm sorry. You asked the question. You said the question was raised, blah, 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 blah. and then you answered the question. Then you went back to the question. I don't recall answering it. I recall just making a statement, but it didn't answer. Well, that's the question. a statement. It basically was asking questions. It question. didn't answer it. Okay. Here's what you have Let's to do. The first question. thing you have to do is stop doing whatever it was you did that made them lose trust in. Don't do what you did to make them lose trust in you. Yeah. If the situation was women or men, you stay far, far away from that. If it was lying, you do your best to be honest. If it was money issues. You try to be as open as you can with the with the finances. But whatever it was that caused them not to trust you, you need to put forth an effort. Do the to total make. opposite. Basically. Mm-hmm. That's pretty simple. You lie, tell the truth. You cheat, stop. Please stop. Yeah. You, 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 you don't you, want to do that. Right. You. Cheating gets you killed nowadays. Something like that. Anyway, I, all right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we got for today. But tune in to them all tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. oh but tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. This is Gerald. Shut What is that doing? Picture. This is Gerald. This is Tammy. And we're signing out. Give them a look. Bye, everybody. Why would I do the beaver teeth? That just didn't happen. Right. My teeth are already. That's your slash sexy life. Maybe I should get the nails. Maybe I'm busy. Too late. I have something in my mouth. I can't do it. You serious? Bye, everybody.